Mr. Beast just launched his new software platform called ViewStats, and I subscribe to it so you don't have to. Maybe you want to. In this video, I'm going to dive into every aspect of the software and whether I think it's a good investment for you if you're a YouTuber and you want to grow your channel. Hey there, if we haven't met yet, I'm Neil Smith, your social media guide. I make videos about software technology and social media to help you grow your organization using social media and digital technology. And so we're going to dig into Mr. Beast's new software platform he just released. I saw him tweet about it, if we call it tweets uh, still on X. And I was like, I got to check out, you know, Mr. Beast is the gold standard in social media. He has led the way's fastest growing YouTuber in the history of YouTube, built multiple businesses now on the back of his social media influence. And he's a genius. If you've ever watched any of his content where he talks about how he's built his YouTube channel. And so I pay attention to everything he does. And when he released the software, I was like, I've got to find out everything that this does, why he built it, how he built it. And at the end of the day, is this useful for me? And is this useful for others? So let's dig into the platform. First thing I notice when I get to the website is it's basically call to action is search any YouTube channel. And so I'll do what it says. I'll search any YouTube channel. I'll actually search for myself. There I am. Here's my channel. And it's going to give me all these stats about my YouTube channel. Uh, and so you can see, I can find out about myself, view stats, subs, and it, it's actually tracking, bringing in all of this data. And this looks a lot like YouTube analytics in the, in the back end. Uh, and so he's pulling this out. Now I could do this though with any channel. So I can see this of my own channel, but then I could also go to Gary V. Then I can look at his channel and I can see what's his estimated revenue. What's his estimated growth? What's spiking. And if it spiked on this day, what did he do? that his channel did so well on this day. What videos, was it shorts, was it long form? Uh, and, and then you can get into things like looking at his videos or even projections of where's his channel, what's the growth trend that's expected based on his existing growth trend on his channel. Uh, you can look at similar channels. So what other channels are similar to his channel? And if, if I'm paying attention to him as a model for how to better utilize social media, then uh, this is going to be a good tool to effectively dig in and learn about others uh, that have similar channels to his. Uh, I can go to the about section and see basically all of this data uh, that that really is you know available there through YouTube, and it's bringing it all into one platform. And so it's a great research tool, and it's it's a free platform. Uh, one of the other things that I, I just want to note note uh, with this platform as I go go back to the homepage here is it's just clean and simple of searching a YouTube channel. And then they also have this light mode and dark mode. And I just love sites uh, that make that available. Uh, I am one of those people that likes dark mode. Uh, and so love that he integrated that, but it's very simple and clean. Uh, but then what jumps out to me is view stats pro get more views with the best tools for YouTube. And so this is the software product. So he gives you a free tool right here to get data and insights and basically learn about other channels and research. And I think one of the things that so many people think in, in any kind of business is, you know what, I, I want to be me. Uh, but, but I think how we become ourselves is so often learning from others that come before us. And so researching other YouTubers and finding out what worked for them saves us a ton of time. It's silly to think that we shouldn't look at history uh, to learn from history. And YouTube's history is short. Uh, but I think there is a lot of history and this is basically a history platform of based on the history of YouTube. This is what has worked for those that are succeeding on YouTube. If you want to succeed on YouTube, you should look and learn from others, not just try to figure it out for yourself and hope, hope you identify it, uh, you know, save yourself a lot of time and learn from others. And so I wanted to look at, you know, what's, what is the upgrade to pro? Uh, what, what is, you know, if this is the free platform, uh, what, what does pro get you? And so the value proposition is very simple. Create videos that get more views. That's the value proposition. So if you're a creator on YouTube, do you want to reach more people with your videos? Do you want more people to see them? That's what this is designed to help you do. Now, I think what I immediately think is, is this vidIQ? You know, is this uh, comparable to vidIQ? Uh, and we'll get into that com comparison later. Um, so there have been other tools or TubeBuddy is, is another similar tool out there. Uh, but this is coming from the perspective and mind of Mr. Beast. And I watched this video. I'll let you go and watch this video on his site. Uh, but, but essentially he goes in to say, this is not something I am promoting for another business. This is my platform that I built for me. And now I'm making it available to you. 
And, and one of the things that I have loved about listening to Mr. Beast and his process of building his YouTube channel is how hungry he constantly is to learn and improve and optimize uh, his channel and listen and learn from others to see what's working for them uh, so that his videos can reach a bigger and broader audience. And so he says here, get to know pro built for creators, organize and brainstorm your next upload, make better decisions with better data, supercharge your YouTube channel, sync with powerful Chrome extension. You know, if you're familiar with vidIQ, they got a great Chrome extension. Uh, and then it starts with five game changing tools. One of the things he says in the video is it's starting with five tools. Uh, they've got several others that they're working on and will release soon. Uh, and I love hearing that, that this isn't a finished product. This is the basically it, alpha version of this product and, and what's available. So you can track track long and short outlier videos in every category. We'll get into what, uh, what that looks like. Uh, then you can get notified for video alerts, search thumbnails and URLs, explore A-B test, uh, create your video and thumbnail prototypes and collections, uh, and then supercharge your growth with YouTube with view stats pro uh and that's what you get with it so i went in they've got some faq so i went in and signed up so let's just jump right into the actual platform itself so once you subscribe uh this is the back end so you kind of start uh with this home uh page and then you can add this a chrome extension uh to your browser and then you've got these five features alerts outliers thumbnail search a b test and collection so let's go through each of these features one by one uh, and talk about what they do uh, and how they can help. So alerts is a way for you to go in and, and create certain things that, that you're looking for. So I, I make videos about social media and technology. And so I went in and, and created uh, alerts around videos like that. And so you can say, you know, I want to create alerts for new technology videos that are coming out. Uh, I want them to have a minimum of 100,000 views. Uh, only long form, uh, not shorts. Uh, I want them to be in English. Uh, they're advanced settings where you can add more things in there. Uh, they could be have technology related. I'll just do create. And now it will be monitoring videos around technology that match that criteria. And when new videos come out and they hit that threshold, uh, I'm going to be alerted. And then what I can do when I get a video that is trending around that topic, I can go look at it. And I can learn from it of, oh, that's an interesting thumbnail that they chose. That's an interesting title uh, that they chose. This is how it performed. And, and maybe it's a timing thing um, with that video. And, and I can get as much insights as basically YouTube is going to share about this video. And it will help me as I'm creating videos around the same niche. Uh, it's going to give me ideas uh, of what's working for others uh, so that I can create uh, similar videos and, and be paying attention to the trends and what's what's picking up uh, with the video. So then getting into outliers, outliers was an interesting and in, in a feature that I, you know, is definitely not in any other platform that I'm aware of. And so you can also similarly, I'll, I'll put in uh, things like uh, technology, or I could search social media here, uh, and it will look for videos that perform well on other channels. And, you know, it significantly better than their other videos in a certain niche. And, and I think this gives us a unique opportunity of this was not necessarily, you know, this stood out across their other videos. So what is it about these videos that basically went viral compared to their other videos? Uh, and it, it, this gives us another learning. And so, so much of this platform, I, I think we look for software to with AI to do it for us. This platform is not that. This platform is really an educational platform, uh, as I've gotten to know it, to help us better understand YouTube, better understand what's working, why it's working, how it's working, and getting insights. Uh, and, and I think it, it's the value proposition is for those people that are just deeply curious about how YouTube's algorithm works and how we can get more views by better understanding the platform and what what's working for others so that outliers uh, I think can really help us within our niche to begin to look at maybe it was something to do with their thumbnail or their title uh, or, or things that that made that video pop out in comparison to their other videos then going into thumbnail search uh, one of the cool things you can do here is actually plug in your thumbnail uh, and, and post a you know a, a video about that or I could just type in a uh, a search here for social media trends uh, and it will pull out the top 
thumbnails for videos related to social media trends. And I can look at what, what is it about these thumbnails that worked that I can learn from for my YouTube channel. Uh, if I'm posting a video about that, or maybe I'm going to make a video about Twitter, uh, or let's just say Instagram. Uh, and so I'll, I'll search Instagram here. And, uh, these are the videos that popped the most, uh, when it came to Instagram. And so finding what's, uh, what's working, uh, with thumbnails and basically not directly copying it, but you know, integrate, uh, those features, those layouts, those things that worked on those other videos, they're likely going to also be effective for you. Uh, then you can go into AB test. And one of the things that's fascinating is YouTube is now making it available for people to run AB tests, uh, with their thumbnails and upload multiple thumbnails. And then it decides after a couple of weeks, which thumbnail performed best. And that's what gets locked in. And so you can just go in and look at basically all of the recent tests and see, you know, uh, was it this one on the right or this one on the left, uh, with lender borrow, uh, well, there was the one Boulder test text that worked better. What you, that gives you a learning of, let me use Boulder text, uh, with my thumbnails. If I'm, if I'm considering, you know, even though I might prefer the way this looks, this is performing better or this ice cream video, they use some of these screenshots or the thumbnail with the little, you know, a text box in there, uh, with the ice cream and a face on there. Well, yeah, it's not surprising that that worked, but that was a test that was run and, uh, and that worked or this Coinbase, uh, video was it the Coinbase logo or the phone screen that performed better. the phone screen performed better. And so it, it's giving you insights and, and I can do the set, you know, similar where I can go by video. I can go by channel, uh, and look at other, other people's tests and, and to see what works. Uh, with their thumbnails and what YouTube's algorithm is essentially telling them. And so when we run tests, instead of, you know, guessing with three, you know, optimized, optimized thumbnails, uh, we can actually look at all of these, make our best guess with our three best thumbnails and we're, instead of blindly creating different thumbnails and doing our own AB test. So it doesn't mean we stop doing AB test. I think we learn from other people's AB tests to make our AB test that much more effective. And the collections is a way to basically bring in. And so I just uh, pulled in a video. So if I were to even go into outliers again, uh, and then say I wanted to save this one, I can just do save to collection and I'll choose social media trends and I'll add it to that collection. And so when I go down here, I can look at these different videos. And so if I go into it, it will give me deep insights on that specific video and what, uh, you know, how it performed and where it took off and so the the analytics that are available uh with that video and so it's helpful uh for us to just be continue to just learn and study uh especially people that are in a similar niche and space as us that, that that have gone before us and have tested a lot of different things and likely just because we know who they are and we have seen several of their viral videos there's probably you know that's we're only seeing probably one percent of their videos uh, because they had tested into the success that they found rarely do people just all automatically with their first video go viral. And then every video after that is also, you know, massively engaging. Mr. Beast took five years before he even had like a thousand subscribers as I understand it. And so it takes time to grow and learn, but we don't have to wait five years. We can learn from Mr. Beast years of learning. Uh, and he's making this platform available to do that. So that's ViewStats Pro. That's everything uh, that's available right now with the software. So let me share my thoughts. So as I look at this platform from Mr. Beast, I, I think kind of my initial thought is it's $50 a month. It's how, how much it costs for this on a monthly basis. Or if you do annual, it's I think $40 a month. Uh, unless you're a pretty serious YouTuber, that's a pretty significant expense for a hobby YouTube channel. Uh, and I think as an agency owner, it's very valuable to me as I manage, you know, 20 probably plus YouTube channels, uh, within our agency. And so it is a high value to us, or if you are a serious YouTuber, tremendous value, or if you plan on getting more serious about YouTube, look, $50 a month for the education that a platform like this is going to bring you. I think that's a high value. If I'm compar comparing this to like vidIQ. Uh, as a somewhat similar platform, VidIQ has a lot more features, a lot more functionality. Uh, it's been around a lot longer. Uh, I'm going to keep using both platforms and I am really excited to see where this goes. What I, what I have learned about Mr. Beast is, is that he doesn't just halfway put things out there and then he does, he doesn't just stop innovating around it. And YouTube is his greatest passion. So as I think about 
what he's done uh, with Feastables and his other businesses or even his own YouTube channel, uh, he's obsessed with getting better. And, and so this platform in its base state is pretty cool. And for $50 a month, I, I think it's it's a really great tool. Uh, and so I'm going to keep using it. I'm going to say stay subscribed. And I can't wait to see what his new features are. Uh, and so I think it's up to you whether you you are ready to invest in YouTube. And I think $50 a month is an investment in yourself and your own education, even if you just did it for a month and just obsessed and studied over what you could learn through this platform in a month. I think it's a high value. And so I, th I think it's super cool. Even the free platform of just looking at other channels, I think that's cool alone. And so I, I love that Mr. Beast put out something that everyone can use. But if you're serious about YouTube, 50 bucks a month, uh, I think is a good investment uh, into where you want to go. Uh, and, and look, I'm serious about YouTube. Uh, I, I It is where the majority of my attention is right now for myself and for my clients. And so, yeah, this is a great investment for me. Uh, and so I have no affiliate link for this. It's brand new. Uh, it, it's, you know, we'll see where it goes. I'll, I'll make an update video probably soon, but it just came out this week. I just subscribed. I had, I had to get in early and see what it was all about. And, you know, looks pretty cool so far. Uh, so check it out. Let me know. Drop your thoughts in the comments. If you have any questions about it, or how it works or uh, what, what it can do, I'd love to help answer your questions or hear what you think. Uh, do you think this is a good uh, direction that Mr. Beast has taken with the software platform? Are you using it? Anything that features uh, that you're using that you're getting the most value out of? I'd love to hear from you and have a conversation with you about view stats, YouTube, uh, all the things. And if you want help uh, with your social media efforts, love for you to reach out to us uh, and our team at Amplify Social Media. You can go to amplifysocial.media, check out our website. Uh, we've got a contact. Uh, form on there. We'd love to hear from you and help you in any way we can. We manage turnkey social media services for leaders. So if you want help taking your social media to where it is, to where you desire for it to go, we'd love to help you get there. Uh, so just reach out to us and our team. We'd love to connect with you there. Thanks so much for watching and we'll talk to you again on the next video.